I am Ismail Badawi Muqbil. I live in a Rub refugee camp. I started my career at uh, Jerusalem School. I was a teacher of English, and after that, I uh, transferred to Onra schools. Then, after some time, I applied to be a school uh, head teacher. Being a headmaster uh, at my camp, a road camp, made a difference to me. The situation here is very difficult. The camp is surrounded by fences and, you know, soldiers come day and night, uh, jeeps and, uh, you know, the army. I did my best to listen to the students' fears and uh, problems. We helped to be very close to the kids. We did our best to try to uh, give them lessons about how to manage their life and how to tell stories about uh, the difficulties they face. They found the school the only place for recreation and for extra activities. So they find the teacher as their uh, second father. In the year 1993, UNRWA sent us a letter to uh, select some girls to participate in Seeds of Peace camp, and UNRWA uh, candidated me to go with the girls. You know, really, I was frightened uh, to go there. I never met an Israeli person, I never met even foreigners, so I was afraid for myself and for my girls too. Seeds of Peace administration uh, chooses a Palestinian and an Israeli person to live together in one room. When I first met with the, um, an Israeli uh, person, from the first moment, he, I tried to be uh, away from him and he was to try to be away from me. I told him that, you know, we are here activists in peace education and peace activities, so let's talk together and I want to tell you my story, even listening to my needs as a Palestinian refugee. And from time to time, we become closer friends. Seeds of Peace experience is uh, uh, not only very important, I feel that I needed that experience because it gives me a chance to meet with the Israelis and Americans and to tell them that I am not uh, a terrorist, I am a civilian, I am a human. So this will uh, narrow the gap between the mentality of some of the Israelis and uh, the Palestinians. Education is very important for every Palestinian here. They lost the land, they lost the place, they lost the other ways of uh, earning a living. So education is a way of widening their knowledge for working here and abroad. I wish for Palestine, first of all, um, to be a, a free state, to, to be a, a real state, not a state like this. My dream is that for my uh, grandsons and granddaughters and coming Palestinians to live freely and be like other children all over the world, to reflect their nationality, their identity to have our right to live as people. This is my aim.